Hi, I'm Urajan from Good We Solar Academy. Today, I would like to talk about power export limit and zero export features. We are now at the project site in Jangdajang. The capacity of the project is 100 kW. This is only for self-consumption, not feeds the grid. And the project cost is about 4 yen per watt. In the case of no subsidy, this project's expected return of investment is around 4 to 5 years. Here we use two GW50K MT inverters with SEC 1000 bucks for zero export solution. First thing we should know why we have these features. After realizing that too many different power plants cannot directly connect to the grid, the idea of the zero export function was invented. Because that may cause too many problems. Therefore, countries and grid companies set some rules for connecting to the interconnected system of the city. After developments of the PV systems, the local authorities and grid companies made some regulations for selling electricity. But in some areas, the FITs are very low and the application process is very complicated. So some of end users prefer to use solar energy only for self-consumption instead of selling it. Such these cases drove inverter manufacturers to find a solution for zero export and export power limit. There are three main concepts that are very close to each other and use the same working logic. These are zero export, export power limit and output current limit. First concept is zero export, which blocks the energy that flows to the grid. With that feature, customer can use the energy produced from the PV panels only for self-consumption, but not selling it. The second solution is called export power limit. With that feature, end users can set a limit in accordance with their limit that already set by the grid authority. And the third concept is called output current limit. In some areas, there are some rules about the inverter's output current that feeds to the grid. In these kind of cases, this feature helps us to set the same value that authority wants. To illustrate these features clearly, I would like to explain it with an example. Let's assume you have 1.5 MW installed PV power on your rooftop and your factory's consumption is 200 kW. Now let's see how these three features work. In first scenario, if your local grid company does not allow you to sell electricity to the grid, then we have to use zero export function. And the inverters will reduce production to 200 kW to only provide electricity to your own consumption, but won't feed the grid. In second scenario, if your local grid company allows you to sell electricity to the grid with one megawatt upper limit, then we have to use export power limit function and inverter will produce 1.2 megawatt instead of 1.5 megawatt. 200 kilowatts for providing energy your own consumption and one megawatt directly goes to the grid. At third scenario, if you have a output current limit such as 70 amps per each phase, then inverter will reduce the output current in accordance with your output current limit. Here in Goodwill, we provide all these solutions with one external box, which is called SEC 1000. In SEC 1000, there is an easy logger pro located inside with three-phase smart meter. Thanks to it, it's very easy to adjust the active power output, power factor, output current, and we can do string level monitoring. And the connections of the SEC 1000 is very easy. All you need to do is connect RS-485 data cables between inverters and the last one has to connect SEC-1000. That's all. After that, we can easily do all these settings and adjustments easily and even remotely. For the small scale projects, we also have similar solutions. For these solutions, please contact us. Thank you for watching us and see you next time.